Okay, uh, good morning Maya, uh, thank you for uh, being here. Uh, we are with uh, uh, Maya Lavelle at the uh, headquarters in uh, New York City of uh, Impact PR. So uh, Maya, we have to thank first of all uh, Beatrice for uh, making this happen. Uh, it's really a pleasure uh, to, uh, to meet you uh, because it's a very special um, occasion because we are here uh, because you are uh, releasing your uh, new single uh, hit, uh, Dancing uh, with a Bottle. And I had the uh, privilege of uh, having the opportunity to have a sneak peek preview of this uh, video. It's extremely interesting and uh, you have a really distinctive uh, voice and uh, it's uh, I, I, I love it instantly. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. So uh, congrats on this uh, on this uh, job because it looks really um, amazing and uh, I can already uh, hear uh, the voice in uh, <laughs> in my head the the your voice and the song. So um, uh, surely we uh, first of all we want to know a little bit uh, more about uh, how you how you started. Uh, your your career you look so young but and we are curious to, to know <laughs> thank you so much it's really lovely to be here in New York with you um, so I started when I was really young um, I come from a very musical family so my uh, both parents are musicians my mother wrote like over 500 songs probably <laughs> and my dad was a singer and he's an actor and um, we used to make theater at home all the time and dress up in all these costumes and um, yeah sing along so uh, for me it was very natural to go into music um, and then I started playing the piano and writing my own songs mm. uh, so it has been a very exciting journey well so uh, that wasn't really a, a choice. Like before, you even were looking for uh, an artistic career. You were surrounded by 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 art and creative people. Yeah. And uh, so, with all these inputs and uh, such a, an interesting uh, family, um, how did you find uh, how did you find yourself uh, in the different uh, genres and uh, how? How you pick the your favorite ones? I I can actually say that I'm like a little bit of a fairy tale junkie since I was a little kid. Like I loved fairy tales and I loved reading. And uh, my grandma used to read me stories every night before I go to sleep. And sometimes she would even fall asleep before me, which uh, yeah, she, <laughs> that, that would be really annoying because I, she would try to skip pages to speed it up, and I would know exactly how the story goes. So you know, <laughs> that, that that was funny. Um, yeah, don't yeah. cheat, grandma. Don't <laughs> cheat. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> no shortcuts. No cheating. Yeah, I knew everything from my heart. Um, and I loved uh, watching old Disney cartoons. I wa I loved um, afterwards, like I loved watching Tim Burton and uh, his stories, and I loved the dark side of it. Um, so yeah, I think a mixture of all these inputs um, helped me create uh, my own stories and music. That's like mm -hmm. yes. about your uh, your uh, vocals, like your uh, the the tone of your uh, voice is. Uh, is uh it sounds almost uh like a like an opera singer it's like yeah you can uh, reach very deep tones and and uh, and uh, higher tones and uh what did inspire you or uh, uh how you how like you you came up in imagining for yourself this, this this style yeah i look at my vocal more as it was an instrument so with all the instruments that I'm using, I'm trying to tell a story. And I think my vocal is like in, in this role. Um, and yeah, it fills up a, a, yeah, the bigger picture, uh, which is to take 
people on a journey, on a peculiar journey with edgy characters and quirky places and um, yeah, I hope that uh, they indulge in, in my fantasy and stories with my vocals and music all together. Well, definitely. What, what I found uh, interesting was that uh, it is actually a, a journey because uh, the, the, the span uh, your voice can reach, actually you never know uh, what, what's coming. You, you don't know what to expect and you are able to uh, surprise the, the, the listener. And um, uh, among all the amazing things I've already uh, seen you uh, doing, uh, you also mentioned that uh, you are also the, your own uh, producer and uh, uh, composer of both music and lyrics of your of your songs, and uh, that surely is a, is a, is a, is a talent. But um, uh, what about your creative process? Like uh, um, when you uh, come up with the idea or a concept of a, of, a, of a song, how 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 do you like to uh, develop it? Yeah. So first, when I write a song with lyrics and music which I get inspired in different ways like by traveling and also sometimes I dream music that's not out there and then I wake up in the middle of the night to write it down um, then after that comes production which I also try to make creative so I record sometimes like the sounds of the birds and the nature where I'm traveling and I try to implement this into my arrangements and um, I try to make an atmosphere with songs that they don't only sound but like that they have a specific smell and a taste and that all hopefully helps people to connect with the uh, story. Yeah and definitely <laughs> you can see that uh, in your previous production but um, definitely in the new video uh, that is related to uh, Dancing with a Bottle um, and uh, so I had the, uh, the privilege of uh, um, watching the preview. Uh, what about specifically this production? The, the, the video is uh, set in uh, um, where and uh, how did you come up with the project about the video without you know giving away too much? Uh, yeah, we shot it in uh, Vegas, Los Angeles and the Indian canons of Palm Springs. Um, I got the idea while I was living in uh, LA last year and um, yeah, we were shooting this for many days, like about 10 days. Uh, so also I was coming but because you Vegas. can't really focus on working in Vegas and Los Angeles <laughs> <laughs> yeah, There must have been some party in between <laughs> <laughs> Sure, yeah. sure, yes. yeah, Vegas is, is a crazy little It's a little bit little distracting <laughs> True, true, but we still managed like we were shooting uh, at 5 in the morning in Vegas where there was no one on the streets so we were lucky and because I didn't have um, headphones, I played my song like from actually my phone, so everyone could hear the song while I was shoot, uh, shooting, and I was singing "Dancing with a Bottle." And at some point, there was this like homeless person that came up to me, and he gave me his milkshake, thinking like, uh, "You're asking <laughs> yeah, about this so bottle, like, yeah. really, really want to dance with a bottle? Here you go." But like, wow, oh, that was very nice. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so you have your Vegas story, right? Yeah, this actually yeah. also helped me create the song Hobo, which, um, yeah, that my whole album is named after. Um, ah, okay. Yeah, I kind of like, I saw a lot of homeless people while I was traveling around here, and I was always wondering what is their story? Uh, where do these people go when it snows? And especially here in New York, I if I was a hobo, you know, I would I would call the police and I would ask them like, what crime do I need to commit to go to prison until the summer? <laughs> um, well, a robbery. Okay, give me the Seventeenth Street. <laughs> yeah, I can use a bank. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, that's, you know, I have a T-shirt that says, uh, um, "Bad choices in Vegas make make good stories," and uh, that's basically what yes. Vegas is about. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we can we can wait to uh, to see the the, the, the video and uh, and uh, witness the the, the the launch and the, the release. So we uh, recommend everybody to stay tuned uh, on uh, Living TV and uh, following us on also on uh, social media because we're going to keep you posted. And uh, so you mentioned that uh, this uh, hit is part of a, uh, of, of, a, of an album. So can you tell a little bit um, uh, about? the current project and 
like our upcoming project? Um, so there are new singles coming up. Uh, there will be a new single, Alberto, which I also have a music video for. And um, the whole album uh, should come out at the, in the early June. Then I'm hoping to do a tour probably in US and Mexico. And for that I'm preparing something special for you. Uh, I'm actually building a new instrument for my own performance that is uh, visually connecting with my style. So it's very phantasmagorical. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. Uh, you intrigue us a lot. <laughs> and um, you uh, have an amazing talent. So kudos to uh, your, uh, your project. And uh, uh, we surely um, will uh, we'll, we'll follow you. And uh, hopefully, you know, you can uh, keep us uh, posted. And uh, again, uh, the chance to thank uh, Beatrice and uh, Impact PR. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Maya and uh, good luck you don't need to we need to wish you good luck because you have a you are extremely talented but thank you so uh, much. we we can wait for the release of the video thank you very much thank you hey. come on listen to me hey. when the starlight covers cry when the cold wind blows the pawn shots In the long white lazy dress coat I was riding a big white horse The fog blurred out your portrait When you wait with the sight and distorted